historická jazda natočená na zemiaku. Kamery sa stali očami AI. O 10 rokov sa pozrieme na toto video ako na prvú verejnú demonstráciu robota, ktorý sa naučil hýbať po svete iba pozeraním videí. Jedná sa o kompletnú zmenu v spôsobe, ako sa buduje software. <kým> Toto je multimodálna AI v plnom rozsahu. Vo videu v rohu opisujem históriu u 8 rokov vývoja FSD a Elonove optimistické predpovede, ktoré stále narazili na nejaký strop. Týchto 8 rokov vyústilo v 300 tisíc riadkov kódu, ktorý si môžeš zjednodušene predstaviť takto. Ak červená, tak stoj. Ak chodec, tak nezraz. <laughs> Čo je to chodec? Ak hlava, ruky, nohy, bicykel, tak chodec. FSD verzia 12 zmazala týchto 300 tisíc riadkov kódu. Fotóny idú cez šošovky kamier dnu a inteligencia von cez pohyb. And here we're encountering some construction. And the car is just uh, driving around the construction. So it, it, it has never seen this construction before. Uh, well, it is near the headquarters, but this construction is relatively new. Um, a beží to na staršom hardvére tretej generácie. Väčšina nezbadá tie najdôležitejšie momenty. Toto je jeden z nich. Toto. Už nemá strop. <laughs> you can see the destination. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Hopefully don't make me <laughs> <laughs> Jediný strop je výpočtová sila na tréning a dáta. Ku 4 miliónom aktívnej flotily aut sa pridá ďalší milión každých 6 mesiacov. A toto tempo bude zrýchlovať. Tesla na výpočtovú silu tréningu AI minie 2 miliardy v tomto roku a ďalšie dve v nasledujúcom. Na tréning FSD nedávno uviedla do prevádzky zhluk 10 tisícov H100 od NVIDIA a zároveň svoj systém Dojo. I mean, obviously it's a little boring because we're at a red light. <laughs> Entirely AI and cameras. Just like our brain works, which is neural nets and eyes. Yep, I just slow down for a speed bump, which is cool. I just slow down for another speed bump. And we did not program in there's no pro, there's no line of code that says slow down for speed bumps. So it is doing this based entirely on video training. Yeah, and there was a we just saw <laughs> uh there was a, a bicyclist Uh, again, there is no line of code that says uh, give clearance to bicyclists. It is just doing what people do. It, it, does, it, 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 it can read science without ever being taught to read. Uh, once again, there is no line of code that says stop at a stop a sign or wait for another car uh, yeah, who came first or whatever it's well, who came there's not like wait x number of seconds nothing like that nothing is that this is all nets baby <laughs> <laughs> nothing but nets yeah. maybe we'll run into zuckerberg and uh we can, we can challenge him to a fight that'll be fun spice it up <laughs> <laughs> he's not traveling <laughs> somewhere to his backyard Here we are at a roundabout. So roundabouts were obviously pretty complicated. It's waited for those two cars. Yep, it just waited for those two cars to go and then did the turn. Um, again, I've been somewhat repetitive about this, but we have never programmed in the concept of a roundabout. We just showed a, a, a whole bunch of videos of roundabouts. <laughs> so a so lot- a big fleet helps. Yeah, I, I mean, for you, you definitely need a, a lot of training data 
to a lot of video training data in order to make this work. Uh, so it's and you need a yeah, really um, billions of dollars of training hardware, um, and you need to know how to run the neural net training hardware. So it's not like easy, um, but the, the the mind blowing thing is that there are no there there's, there's no heuristics. There's no like. Uh, lines of code like there's a, there's a guy on a scooter it's never it doesn't know what a scooter is it doesn't know what paddles are it's literally just been given a lot of video so and it's doing all of this on hardware 3 uh, with about 100 watts of inference compute so it's not like obviously we're not, it's not some like massive data center and if if we were offline there would be no difference. This is locally, all the inference that's happening is local. It, it does not need an internet connection. And, and obviously that's necessary because if you, you know, lost your cellular internet connection, the car needs to drive safely. Um, but we could be somewhere that where there is no internet connection. Um, and and it, it, it's never seen the roads before, it doesn't matter. The, the, the pure AI version runs better than, it runs faster than the, the version that is a mixture of normal software and AI. No toto je software 2. Programovanie cez senzory cez príklad. So it's taking eight cameras uh, at 36 frames per second. Um, in fact, it, it would run it faster than 36 uh, frames per second, um, except the cameras are currently only capable of 36 FPS. Um, our current, you know, back of the envelope uh, frame number is, we, we think it could probably run at 50 uh, frames a second. Um, re reality of the roads are basically designed around 24 frames a second. Um, I just, we got to the end, of, got to our destination, so I'll just, uh, you know, pick a new destination here. I'm like, Hello, assassins. If you want to get me, now is your chance. <laughs> you just need to be in Palo Alto. <laughs> yeah, so I just dropped a sort of random pin. We don't know where we're going, really. Um, yeah, FST-12 test drivers around the world. So we've got, we've got people in, I think, like New Zealand and like Thailand and yeah. Norway. Japan. Japan. Yeah. Every, everywhere. Lovely day in California. Um, the beautiful Stanford campus. <laughs> Playing a little uh, Four Seasons. Yeah, so we're here we are at a roundabout. Uh, the car is, is you know, I've, I've never, I've never been to this roundabout before, and the car is not specifically trained on this roundabout. Yeah, and then once it's our turn, so, it just proceeds. Yeah, fronts. exactly. So it, it 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 waited, correct for the correct amount of time, drove smoothly around, around the roundabout. Uh, again, I, I will be somewhat repetitive, but there yeah, there is no line of code that says what around this is a roundabout there is not nothing that says w wait you know x number of seconds which is what we have in the um explicit control stack uh, that's the sort of uh, version 11. Uh, there's over 300,000 lines of c++ in the explicit controls control stack of version 11 um, and there's basically none of that in version 12. we feel good about actually having a um, a, a very rapid virtuous cycle uh, where w when there is an intervention in the fleet um, that with that intervention automatically being uploaded uh, to the, to training we have not programmed in the concept of traffic lights like I said this is it's a little slow because uh, we're driving around in basically rush hour oh, 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 oh intervention sorry <laughs> Okay, so that's our first intervention because the car should be going straight. So, you know, uh, that's why we've not released it to the public yet. Um, before that intervention that we just had, um, the solution is essentially 
um, to feed the network a bunch more video of traffic lights. Um, so that was a that was a controlled left inner a, a control, controlled uh, left turn um, where there was green light for the left turn, but not a green light to go straight. Um, and so we'll feed it a bunch of video of uh, control left turns, and uh, then it'll work. Yeah, so it, it kind of so this is yeah, so this is pretty cool. So the car just just pulled over to the side of the road, and um, and the passenger should get off. And yeah, and, and parked. So there was it it knows at the end of its destination based on the video that's received that at the end of the, at the end of the destination you pull over to the side and park. In in sort of rubber taxi world, it would actually just um, you know probably perhaps know what you look like and say and just literally look for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah if you have a picture or something, you can just yeah, look for you. exactly. It's like if you you don't have to, but if you, if you want the car to literally find you, yeah, sit, get, you just have to send it a picture of you, and it will it will look for you and 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 wait for you. Yeah, exactly. Do you want to do the fight or? <laughs> <laughs> wait, where, where where does he live? I mean, you know, we can knock on the door and whatever. Hey everyone, we are live from my backyard where I am smoking a brisket and some ribs. I am I'm making meats now. Smoking these meats here. Meat smoking. It's smoking. We have no. This is literally. We just googled it. We don't know if this is where he actually lives or not. But we'll yeah, just go no, there. Being roughly, uh, so, you know, he's, yeah, like, he's he's like, yeah. Okay. It was like six hundred. <laughs> so now it's gone into the. We are at the spot that's roughly where. But I don't think it just doesn't seem probably where it is because I have probably be security okay. and stuff. Yeah. The car is, is is very very polite with pedestrians. So it's stopped to wait the, for the couple to pass by, and uh, now it's continuing to drive. This is like an unprotected turn for us. Like yeah. Okay. So this, yeah, this is a tricky one. So this is turning left onto Middlefield in Palo Alto, with where visibility is not great. So. Cars so it's like both sides. yeah, cars coming from both sides at pretty high speeds. But uh, did it? Yeah, no problem. Great. Yeah, exactly. It's like it currently set to eighty five, but it's the it's it's ignoring the set speed. It's it's driving at what would be intuitively the right speed for people to drive at. Yeah, you did a lane change to get into the camp, the yep. faster lane. Exactly. So there's two lanes here. Uh, there's a lot more cars in that lane fewer cars in this lane and it's going straight so it picked the lane with the fewest cars. Yeah this is a fairly tricky light. So you got you got two uh, you know con controlled lefts and and two straight basically two two turn lanes and two straight lanes turn and merge uh, simultaneously which is tricky. Hodnotenie Tesly analytikmi Wall Street je ako keby mal pra človek hodnotiť najnovšiu hru vo virtuálnej realite. Učenie sa z videa znamená, že je len otázkou času, kedy sa AI o nás a o svete naučí všetko. Predpoveď? Počas najbližších rokov pôjdu najväčšie výdavky kapitálu Tesly na trénovanie AI v reálnom svete. Tesla si nebude robiť už len vlastný dizajn čipov, začne ich sama aj vyrábať. Tesla vybuduje všeobecnú umelú inteligenciu ako prvá.